Okay, I know this is going to leave me with no one of his intros where I have no segue, but I find something really weird. You see, I filmed a parody today, which probably is already up by now, but I, t I took my sweatshirt off to put on a different costume, and before I did this review, I needed to put it on. I have a weird attachment to my sweatshirt. Hello and welcome to the first installment of Winter Wednesdays. Every Wednesday in December... <coughs> Sorry, I had something in my throat. I'm going to be reviewing a Christmas movie. So what is the most Christmas-spirited movie ever? Gremlins! Now, I know what you're saying. It's not a Christmas movie, but it is. You just didn't know it. Okay, so here are my reasons. First of all, the main kid has a friend who delivers Christmas trees for his job. The final battle takes place on Christmas. There was a whole backstory with the girl and her dad involving Christmas. Christmas music plays throughout the whole film. And, not to mention, he gets the gremlin as a Christmas present. So it is a Christmas movie, and don't let anyone tell you different. Let me get into the acting. So, I do not know who actually acts in this movie. There was a chick who was in, you know... Ah, uh, what was it? Drop Dead Bread, that was it. Oh wait, Corey Feldman was in this movie. I am stupid. But yeah, Corey Feldman does a good job, and so does... I think it's like Phoebe... Phoebe? I don't know. That chick from Drop Dead Bread. She does a good job, and so does the main kid, who also does a good job. He has a very nice, you know, back and forth with the gremlin who is voiced by Howie Mandel. Well, not... Just one of them, a Mogwai, Gizmo as they call him, but I'll get to him later. Let me move into the directing. The directing is good, it really sets itself up as a horror movie, but still keeping the family aspect, which could be hard for a director to do, but he manages to handle it very well. Also, some credit has to go to the writing deal, but I'm about to get to that. Let me get into... Actually, I'm going to talk about the special effects with this movie, because... Am I the only one who thinks the gremlins look really realistic? I mean, I thought they would look realistic back in the day, back when I was a kid, and I absolutely loved this movie. But I even, I never thought they aged badly. I always thought they looked pretty nice, even to this day. And I love the design of the gremlins also. Okay, off that topic, let me move on to the writing. The writing is good. It, again, it manages to be a kid's horror film that gets you in the Halloween mood, but for me, I've always considered it a Christmas movie just because of the cold hard facts that everything has to do with Christmas. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, yes, the writing is very good. Gizmo, Gizmo and the one main kid have very, have very good banter. However, I do feel they could have made the relationship between Corey Feldman and the mate and the main kid, Beto, I mean, their relationship felt very throwaway. I really felt Corey Feldman could have been taken out of the movie and nothing really would have changed. And, also, there was just girl, the main girl from Drop Dead Fred. She had these really depressing backstories, which, the way you need a backstory for a character, why do they have to be depressing? I mean, it even carries over into the sequel, which I also enjoy. But, I mean, really? Really? No. <laughs> this is a kid's film. You don't need a depressing Dark Knight backstory. <laughs> but, anyway, there's someone I forgot to mention. There was this one drunk in it, and I actually really like his character. Just because I felt he had good banter with the chick from Drop Dead Fred. But anyway, I do like this movie, and I love how... No, I, I keep forgetting to mention stuff today. I am messing up, sorry. But anyway, there was this awesome fight in the end where the gremlins just go loose. And honestly, it's really cool. Not to mention it leads up to one of my favorite jokes in it when they're watching Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. And they love it. I don't know why, I still find that hysterical to this day. And yes, there are some good comedic moments, there are some dark moments for a kid's film. In the end, I still enjoy this film, it has a lot of nostalgia factor for me. Though watching it again, it's not as good as I remember it, but then again, I was a kid, I loved everything. 
But I still really enjoy this movie. I would still recommend it. I'm going to give Gremlins a B plus. I enjoyed it. It's a staple of the 80s. Everyone saw this movie. Well, most people saw this movie as a kid. I want to know what you thought of Gremlins in the comments below. And please like, favorite, and subscribe for more Winter Wednesdays. Thank you.